I tried, yeah, a couple of options actually. Um, open up your library to do the portfolio CSS and the portfolio.css. I'm going to send this in the ticket. Actually, basically, I'll just teach you how to do it. Um, just go find the portfolio filters. Now, you need to keep those in the page because there's script that looks for it. However, that doesn't mean we can't use little CSS just to, you know, hide it. And what you can do is you can do the first of all is the just type in vis for visibility, hit the enter key, and then just hidden hit the H for hidden and then a semicolon you can also do the display type in DIS for display hit enter and then none like that and a semicolon and that will actually take it physically out of the uh, view of the page but it still lets things work because this as far as the script knows it's still all there okay so that's that can you have other ones yes you can uh, what you would just simply do is uh, copy and paste the uh, portfolio library page okay uh, we'll call this number two okay um, and once you have a copy of that you'd actually need to I suggest you make a copy of the portfolio page itself don't try and insert it to something else because there's a bunch of code and CSS and styles and whatnot that are this page uses so we'll just call this number two right and then open number two and we're, doing, we're going to go and replace the library item. And at this point, you can do this with any component, any page in Dreamweaver, is go and find the actual library component, which is right here. All right? Select, click anywhere on it. Begin library item, click on portfolio, it doesn't matter. And go find the MM Lib item down below. Click it and delete. While your cursor is sitting there blinking in the page, immediately go to the Assets tab. You can also find it from the window, Assets. Right, switch to your library and go find the portfolio two. If you don't see it, hit the refresh button, then go find portfolio two and hit insert. And let's see what that does. You see it? Library components portfolio and it puts in that new library page right there. Then you can go in and make all your tweaks and fiddles and updates and stuff and you'll have a brand new portfolio. You can do that as many times as you like.